in the Women's Writers of Color Reading Room at Pratt Institute. And uh, this is a um, part of our library that was uh, started by a group of students here at Pratt who wanted to have a place to come um, specifically geared to women writers of color, um, which uh, we feel, or they feel, you know, is uh, underrepresented in the school and something that the school um, could devote space to to help it become represented because quite often things are underrepresented simply because space hasn't been allocated to them, and which is a really interesting idea. And so by centering the women writers of color reading room here, and uh, um, you can see in a minute, we'll show you the sofas that are around here that people can come and read books. So the whole experience- If you don't mind, I'll, I'll do a quick pan, okay? Yeah, okay. And, and step so aside a moment so we can see the mural behind you. Mm -hmm. Okay, now you can get back in the shot. Okay, back where yeah. you were. So the whole experience of reading books, of course, is both intensely private and public when you read in a library. So it kind of celebrates that private public experience of holding the book up and having the phenomenological experience of reading where you are transported to some other kind of place. And this is a book by Octavia Butler that I've been teaching to my students and it's an alternate present and she's um, proposing in her book uh, she referred to it as a grim fantasy it's now gone black Okay, somehow uh, I think I have a screensaver on or something, so we'll just edit that out. Okay, good. Continue. So I'll just continue. Should yeah. I start over? Uh, you could. Well, well, actually, let start me start over with the book. book. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So this is a this is a copy of uh, a Kindred. It, it's it's you can start that part over. It's backwards, left to right, which is so a little confusing. Left to right. okay. Yeah. Okay. So show, show the book again, and then. So this is a copy of Kindred by Octavia Butler, and uh, like that, yeah, okay. yeah. And it's a, um, uh, one of the featured books here in the Women's Writer, of uh, Grim Writers of Color Reading Room. And uh, um, I teach uh, the novel to first year architecture students um, who become really fascinated by uh, Octavia Butler's uh, alternate present. And what she's proposing uh, is um, she uses a compressed time uh, to bring a character, a central character, Dana, from the 1970s in Los Angeles to a slave plantation in Maryland in the 1810s. And um, through this time travel, the central character discovers her past, her historic past, her ancestors, that she's actually being teleported to save the life of the white plantation overseer who's her ancestor. She's African American, mm. but descended from a slave plantation family in order that she can live today because if he dies, then she dies in the present. Wow. So she moves back and forth. And by this sort of movement and the recreation of the slave plantation through the eyes of a quote unquote alien who comes from another age, even though she's American, um, this, we learn quite a bit about slavery.
there's 37 seconds left. Larry, not a bad hat. I got it when I arrived because I didn't have a hat today. Oh. That will do. 